10,000 people with hearing impairment in the United States are waiting for this glasses technology that displays subtitle text in real time. After waiting for about two years, consumers on the waitlist will finally start receiving their transcribed glass early in 2024. I think one of the biggest challenges that I've had with transcribed glass is responding to all the demand we've seen very recently. Um, since we went viral, I, I'm getting emails, calls about when can people receive the product uh, and actually use it. And we're working to scale up to meet that demand, both at the company and also uh, as a producer of uh, these transcribed glass devices. What made transcribed glass appealing is its affordability and robust design. Prescription hearing aids often cost around $2,500 and over-the-counter hearing aids for individuals with moderate hearing loss range between $300 to $600. The beta model of Transcribe Glass starts at $55, and the final model is estimated to be around $95. Unlike other high-tech products that are delicate, Transcribe Glass users don't have to worry about minor incidents. I've used it with my family, with my parents, and with Alicia and with my sisters when they were visiting down here they don't live in miami where i'm at but this thing is you know built built to be uh inexpensive and also like i had a piece that came off and tom just talked me back into gluing it you know it's kind of very fixable and it's you can bang it around it doesn't really when i first got it i was super delicate with it but you don't really need to be most insurance plans don't cover hearing aids and that is why transcribed glass markets itself as a tech product that doesn't need fda approval it's not a hearing aid per se nor do we market it as such it's a, an accommodation that gives you subtitles for the real world and there's no requirement for fda approval the second real thinking there is hearing aids aren't even covered by insurance. So the primary driver for us to get FDA would be to get insurance to pay for this. And since insurance doesn't pay for hearing aids, it doesn't make sense to go through that effort. In addition to affordability, social stigma has prevented some individuals who could benefit from a hearing aid from adopting it. Tom Pritzky, who has had a bilateral hearing loss since he was three years old, relates to the struggle. The social stigma aspect of hearing loss is definitely there. Uh, you know, I can just relate to it personally. I also, when I started at Stanford, I used to wear my hair really long to hide the hearing aids. So I, I didn't tell people either. And then I realized that's not a great idea. But social stigma definitely is a blocker for a lot of people for hearing aid adoption. I am fairly confident that there is significantly more acceptance of a glasses-based form factor than a hearing aid form factor, just socially, for some reason, likely because the vast majority of people already use glasses. Transcribe Glass brings more options to the assistive technology market. However, the experience with hearing impairment varies by individual, and individuals have different preferences over which assistive technology to use. Disability advocate Rachel Kolb gives her insights on where the future of assistive technology could evolve over email. I look forward to seeing how the captioned glasses landscape continues to unfold alongside other available options for deaf people to communicate in a range of different ways. As long as we don't lose sight of the maxim, one size doesn't fit all. And as long as we keep on learning new ways to engage with each other, including through ASL, all of this is a potentially very exciting tool to have in a larger toolbox.